Hello everybody, let's join for today quiz. Today we will uh, try an Airbus A320 landing gear quiz number one. So let's join some question to refresh your knowledge on A320 landing gear system. So I will enter the quiz now. So now I join the quiz and let's start the quiz now. So we will have 18 question. Let's start question number one. Which hydraulic system power normal landing gear operation? We know that in the S320 we have normal extension detraction, electrically controlled and hydraulically operated. By which hydraulic system? Green system, blue system, or yellow system? For sure, it is the green hydraulic system green hydraulic system for normal extension retraction if green system fail we will go to free fall extension handle free fall or gravity extension there is no other system power normal extension attraction there is no other hydraulic system power normal extension attraction only the green hydraulic system okay let's start question number two So, which hydraulic system powers the nose wheel steering in the A320 Classic version? In the A320 Classic, the steering system powered by green hydraulic system. And in the enhanced A320, the uh, steering system powered by yellow hydraulic system. So, in the Classic A320, Steering is powered by green hydraulic system. Green hydraulic system. Let's start question number three. Green hydraulic system powers the nose wheel steering in the A320 enhanced version. I don't think so. As I told you, as I mentioned, in the A320 enhanced, the steering system is powered by yellow hydraulic system. Yellow hydraulic system. This is the steering actuating cylinder. And the steering is steering by wire. So this question is false. Because the steering in the A320 enhanced version is by the yellow system. Let's go for question number four. A green triangle indication on the landing gear panel indicates that the gear is locked down. Is locked down. This is the landing gear panel. This indication means that the nose and the two main are down and locked. Down and locked. So this question is for sure true. If the landing gear is up and locked, we will not have any indication on this panel. If the landing gear in transit, we will have unlock red light. Unlock red light. This panel, landing gear panel, only LGCIU1 power or indicate on this panel. If LGCIU1 fail, there will be no indication on this panel. LGCIU1 and LGCIU2 indication are coming both on ECAM, but on the landing gear panel, only LGCIU1. Okay. Let's proceed. Question number five. A red unlock light indicates that the corresponding gear is not locked in the selected position. A red unlock light indicates that the corresponding gear is not locked in the selected position. Yes, for sure. We will have the red unlock light on the landing gear panel. If the landing gear is not locked in the selected position so this statement is very true this statement is very true okay let's see the next question question number six when the anti-skid and nose wheel steering switch is selected off what happened this is the anti-skid and nose wheel steering switch off 
اوكي انتي سكيد النوز ويل ستيرنج ار اوف يس نورمال بريك از لوست يس نو مور اوتو بريك يس سو ذا انسر فور شور اول ذا منشند اباف اول ذا منشند اباف اوكي سو انتي سكيد النوز ويل ستيرنج سويتش تو اوف يو ويل لوست فور اوبريشن انتي سكيد نوز ويل ستيرنج Normal break and auto break. Okay, because this switch, anti-skid and nose wheel steering switch, is power the braking and the steering control unit. Inside the BSCU, there is a normal brake, there is the auto brake computation, there is the anti-skid computation, so no more uh, anti-skid, no more auto brake, no more normal brake, and for sure there is, will be no, no uh, nose wheel steering. Okay, let's proceed. Let's see the next question. The treble pressure indicator indicates that. This is the treble pressure indicator. Upper part and two lower part. So the treble pressure indicator indicates yellow brake accumulator pressure. Yes. Pressure delivered to the left and right brake. Yes. So the answer will be all the mentioned above. All the mentioned above. This is the yellow treble pressure indicator. Alternate braking is indicated here. Barking brake is indicated here. Because alternate brake and barking brake is powered by the yellow system. So this is the yellow treble pressure indicator. Upper part is the yellow brake accumulator pressure. And the lower part, pressure, yellow pressure delivered to the brake unit on the left main leg and the right main leg. And the right main leg. Okay, let's proceed. Next question. You can monitor the normal braking delivered to the left and right brakes on the treble pressure indicator. You can monitor the normal braking delivered to the left and right brakes on the treble pressure indicator. For sure, no. This is the Yellow treble pressure indicator or alternate treble pressure indicator. So you cannot monitor the green hydraulic pressure or the normal braking on the treble pressure indicator. Only alternate brake or maybe barking brake or maybe barking brake. Okay, let's proceed. Barking brake can be monitored on the treble pressure indicator. Barking brake can be monitored on the treble pressure indicator. Barking brake is powered by yellow hydraulic system. So for sure you can monitor the barking brake here because this is a yellow treble pressure indicator. So yes, barking brake can be monitored on the treble pressure indicator. Okay, very good. Let's proceed. The red arrow behind the landing gear control lever comes on red when any gear is not down and locked when the lever is down. This red arrow coming here, indicated here, when any gear is not down and locked when lever down, yes. There's an indication that any leg is not down and locked when the landing gear lever is down. Is a very important indication for the pilot to indicate that uh, all legs or maybe nose, maybe main, it's not down and locked when the landing gear lever is down. Okay. Let's proceed. How many turns needed to extend the gears by gravity from the crank handle? How many turns needed to extend the gear gravity? gears by gravity from the crank handle three turns clockwise four turns anti-clockwise or five turns clockwise for sure the answer is three turns clockwise three turns clockwise the first turn will operate the cutout valve and the two vent valve the cutout valve will prevent the hydraulic pressure to reach the landing gear extension system actuator and the two vent valve ventilates the hydraulic to the return circuit. 
to allow the circuit to be drained from hydraulic because now we will extend the landing gear by gravity mechanical extension the second turn will release the door a block mechanically and the third, third turn will release the gear a block mechanically and the gear will take the door and go by gravity so the door will not close after free fall extension the main doors for the landing gear wheel wells will not close after a free fall extension by gravity so the next question let's proceed Parking brake is supplied by which hydraulic system? Green system, yellow system, or blue system? For sure, parking brake is powered by yellow hydraulic system. Yellow hydraulic system. Okay. Parking brake may be powered by yellow hydraulic system or may be powered by brake accumulator. Brake accumulator. And the brake accumulator gives a 12-hour autonomy. 12-hour of parking brake uh, by the yellow hydraulic system okay let's proceed next question the two steering hand wheels control the nose wheel steering their orders added algebraically yes this is a steering hand wheel and the steering hand wheel has rather pedal disconnection push button so this statement is true yes the two steering hand wheels control the nose wheel steering and the order added algebraically just like the joystick just like the joystick okay let's proceed next question at each gear down selection there is a transfer from lgcu1 to 2 or vice versa at each gear down selection, there is a transfer from LGCIU 1 to 2 or vice versa. I don't think so. The statement must be at each gear up selection. So this statement is false. Because the right is at each gear up selection. There is a transfer from LGCIU 1 to 2 or vice versa. Each LGCIU control one complete gear cycle. One down selection and one up selection. One up selection. Okay. One, sorry, one up selection and one down selection. The next up will be the other LGCIU or the other system. Because you know the landing gear normal extension retraction is done by two systems. System one is LGCIU1 plus 16 proximity detector. And system two is LGCIU2 plus 16 proximity detector and each system control complete uh, a complete gear cycle one up selection and one down selection the next up will be the next system or the next lgcio2 okay next question the hydraulic supply to the landing gear circuit is automatically cut off by a safety valve above 260 knots the hydraulic supply to the landing gear circuit is automatically cut off by a safety valve above 260 knots. Yes, it is a safety valve. When the aircraft in flight, uh, either you 1 or 3, will signal this valve to close when the aircraft reach 260 knots. So this statement is very true. Is very true. This safety valve will operate and open again if the Aircraft speed is less than 260 knots, signaled by either U1 or either U3. Or this valve also may be open if the landing gear is down and locked on ground or the external power is connected. Okay, very good. So, let's proceed. Question 16. What controls the landing gear normal operating sequence? Either LGCIU in turn, both LGCIU simultaneously, or the crank handle. The right answer is either LGCIU in turn. Either LGCIU in turn. Because as I told you, each system or each LGCIU control one complete gear cycle. One up selection and one down selection. The next up will be the next LGCIU. Okay, very good. Let's proceed. 
Next question, 17 of 18. Which unit gives the landing gear position to the ECAM display? Either LHSIU in turn, both LHSIU simultaneously, LHSIU one only. The ECAM, we have here two green triangle, two green triangle, two green triangle. So both LHSIU simultaneously indicate on the ECAM. On the landing gear indicator panel, only LHSIU one. But on the ECAM as an indication, LGSIU1 and LGSIU2 indicate on the ECAM. Okay. Let's proceed the final question. When does the automatic change over of the LGSIU in control occur? When down is selected, when up is selected, when the first engine starts. The right answer is when up is selected. As I mentioned, at each landing gear lever up, there is a transfer from LGSIU1 to 2 or vice versa. Okay, everybody. Okay. Next. Thank you for your good listening and thank you for watching this quiz. Always stay tuned for an upcoming quizzes like this. Your host was, was Haysam Ali, and I'm an aviation technical instructor. Thank you for your good listening, and I will see you again. Bye-bye.